Hello, in today's MTX training I will show you how to configure machine parameters. We will start our IndoorWorks engineering software and depending on version we'll use different icons. After software starts, first we will create a new project and call it Project Parameters. We will drag and drop to this project our MTX control. With default name, IP address, and interfaces. To verify proper communication with control, we will make connection test. We can access parameters in a tab motion and see configuration. But at first, this tab is grayed out. Parameters are stored in a control memory, so if we want to access them, we need to switch control online. This message shows up when there is some project still active in control. We will acknowledge it right now, wait for control to switch online, and click on NC Configuration tab again. NC Configuration screen will open. And then we click on Basic and C Configuration tab. Now we can see and edit machine configuration parameters. If those parameters are different than default, we can continue to use and modify them or reset the entire system into initial configuration. To reset parameters into default values, we use NC Restart function. From different MTX startup modes, first we'll activate mode 7, creating the user FEPROM file system new. It will take a while since system will create a new FEPROM files, delete all permanent CPL variables and reboot. We can monitor progress by using MTX system status function. Second step of resetting parameters to initial values will be NC restart mode 6. In this step, we will load new default parameters and configuration data. After system reboots, it will switch online and we can go to NC configuration again. This time in our basic NC configuration screen, we have default initial parameters set with one channel and four NC controlled axes. Machine parameters are organized in two major groups. First are configuration setup parameters, and second are basic parameters. In configuration data setup, basic NC configuration tab, we can set general layout of our machine. We can set how many stations, channels we will have, and how many and what type of axes we will have. With optional parameter selection tab, 
we can activate special functions required by our machine. In basic parameters group, we can edit more specific parameters. Here we have parameters related to all individual channels, axes, spindles, and other machine functions. If we click here on tab axis, new window will open with additional detailed parameters for all configured axes. But let's go back to our basic configuration screen and finish our initial machine setup. But first, please note that when we click on any parameter, for example, number of channels, software will automatically prepare for us additional information about this parameter. When we click on Information tab, Help page will show up with detailed description of this parameter. Back at our basic configuration screen, for every axis we can open additional configuration parameters. First, we can see and configure what type of axis it will be. If inside there's a tab axis functionality, that means this axis is configured as linear or rotary servo axis. If there's a tab spindle functions, this axis is configured as spindle. We can modify axis type and switch it into spindle or combination spindle axis. For servo axis, we can select here if it's linear or rotary. Please note that when we select any parameter under tab parameter instances, software will automatically create for us list of the same parameter value for all other axes. Here we can also assign axes to specific channel station, select circles address, and pick the drive type for this axis. When we reset control parameters to default values, axis number four was configured as a combination spindle axis and that's why we have here two tabs one for axis functions and one for spindle functions to add new axis to our system we click on main tab and then select new servo spindle or combination So we'll add axis number five, type spindle. Now we'll edit all the remaining basic parameters for every axis. First axis system name. Please note that in Parameter Instances screen, software will show us names of all axes. We can also open Help page to get more detailed information about this parameter. Since this is axis X in channel 1, Let's give it a name X1.
please note that after change, our parameter new value is showing in red. And that means parameter was modified but not activated. Next parameter enable drive will leave us yes. And the same with activation of circles communication. Axis virtual mode is a very useful function, especially during commissioning. It allows us testing a system without physical axis present. In our combination spindle axis, we also need to set a name for the axis. If it is axis wrap around Z axis, we typically name it C or C1. For our spindle only axis 5, we do not need to assign a name and system will name them S1, S2 or SN depending on spindle index. Please note small yellow warning sign next to our NC configuration tab. It means that our changes to parameters are not activated yet. We can activate them by NC restart or by closing parameters editor window. System will activate restart and ask for confirmation. After reboot, we can go online and see our active parameters. Thank you for your attention.